Let's get this new one underway. Exciting, isn't it? Let's go for winners finals. Winners finals, and then, and then losers semis is uh, Trey Star and um, Pateo. All right. Hey, Trey Star, you'll be up after this against Pateo. All right, everybody, it is time to begin our top four of the first ever Street Fighter VI monthly here in Richmond, Virginia. The King returns three. It has been one heck of a climb. Everybody and their significant other was here to try and take the first Street Fighter VI 804 championship, but now we are down to the last four. It's time for winner's finals. This is going to be first to three rather than first to two. Let's get hype, everyone. Thank you all for your patience. Without further ado, let's make this happen. Big Johnny with Ryu and Stan Man Pan with E Honda. Supposedly. There you go. With the classic championship edition colors. Ryu going with the classic white and red. Here we go. Let's get buzzing, everyone. I see you in the chat. I see you, Jinoshi. Hope you've enjoyed the show thus far. Yeah, let's, let's all make some faces. There you go. That's how they get hype. So many faces I see. And we will see who is the face of a champion as the winner of this will determine who enters grand finals on winner's side. Uh oh, ho, ho. that was actually the right call, but a little bit too far on that drive impact. Honda forced way out with a YOLO sumo smash. Stanman Pan completely decimated his opponent winner's semis, just going ham with headbutts and sumo smashes. We will see if Johnny has any answers. I remember when this character first came Street Fighter V, how John was showing you how to frame that picture with that ridiculous jump heavy punch. And scary thing is, Stanman Pan still has plenty of OD meter. He hasn't even gotten started yet. That's a big punish. That's gonna stink for you, my, oh, not enough stun. That was the chance, thankfully, he is still getting the fortress ready to fire his head off like a cannon. Ah, speaking of cannons, Ryu has something low the chamber with those DPs. No headbutt for you. Good job of the interrupts. You don't let Ryu drive, or anybody drive rush in for you for free. Oh, perfect parry, and it's going to be not much damage for us. The scale and perfect parry is ridiculously not very favorable, but it stopped momentum at least. Look at this. Stamp hit Ari saying, I'm out of here. Driving pack, but not enough armor. A fireball, just the right time, and that's a counter hit. What a conversion. It's still going on. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. How will Ryu get out of this bakery? Or is he the one to be served as a pastry for E Honda's imminent victory celebration? This new Street Fighter does look very nice. EX headbutt laughing at the fireball. And Ryu says, that's nice. I got jokes too by doing a drive rush into a crouch heavy punch. I hope you're laughing at that, E Honda. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, oh, that is not very good for Big Johnny because he is taking everything Honda can give him and more. What are those, says E. Honda? Those sandals are complete flames. Uh-oh, so Honda's got some stock ready. He's got the sumo spirit, which means he's got some buffs on his next bit of sumo attacks. Oh, there you go, again with the counter hit with the sumo smash, juggling this man like a clown. We were talking about jokes and laughing matter right now. So E Honda, more smashes, more smashes. Finally, a DP interrupt. But Ryu is in burnout, which means stuff like that could happen. Walking right into a crouch jab into Sumo Smash. Stan Man Pan is up one nothing. 
Uh oh, once again, no, too far away. No juggle for you. Thank you, get the punish off that Tatsu. Nobody home. Uh, nobody home there either. No worries, you still got your turn. Oh man, John A. Falcon, look for answers. He goes for the dry rush off normals, but now he barely has any OD meter to work with. He is out. No parry for you, no drive impact for you. Just devastation. Oh yeah, not that situation. There's a DP waiting for you there, my friend. Another DP waiting. It's getting tense right now. Careful. Keep your cool. And now it is Honda out of meter. And as such, he... Oh, but not enough. That is, though, perfectly spaced. Crouch, medium kick, and Big Johnny on the board. We may be here a lighter... We may be here a lighter while, ladies and gentlemen, because something is setting the fire in me. The competitive spirit is awake, lighting the flame. And Han looking to smother that with his big behind Ochio throw. Another headbutt. Yes, there may be DPs waiting for you. Be careful. No punish there, though. All right. Ryu is in burnout state, and he needs to figure out the pattern of Stam and Pansum. Otherwise, this will be around in Stam Pan's favor, like there. Waking up into jabs. Stam Man Pan takes that round. Uh uh. Yeah, not that time. Well, okay, dashing up and DPing, knowing exactly when Honda would make this happen. Honda wisely signed to use dry pair against those fireballs, conserve his OD meter, and again, he can't DP that. He gets the juggle and not quite the full level three, but still some damage. Oh no, don't be jumping in on Ryu like that. Not when he is buffering that Shin Shoryuken. That's big, raw, unscaled anti-air damage. However, wake up Sumo Smash. All right, this is good. So he's taking advantage of how Ryu is in burnout state. Now he has to be a little more careful because the uh, block the block advantage has changed significantly. Oh no, don't forget, you're in the corner, drive impact into an overhead. Big Johnny ties it at one. Okie dokie. So now Stan Man Pan will try and adjust to the adjustments that Big Johnny made. You see right now he's kind of testing the space there with those blocked headbutts. He knows it's coming. It's just he's been unable to punch appropriately. That time, though, he got something. Sumo smash, counter hit. Getting to juggle more sumo smash. Nobody home. However, he is making sure he always in charge in case someone jumps in. It's time for him to go for a headbutt. Uh, not your turn, my friend. Ochio throw. Yeah, not that. Oh, what an autocorrect right there. Lucky break for Stanman Pan and E Honda. Oh, you got to be careful. Oh, no. Big Johnny lost track of where he was and got tossed as a result. Ochio throw. And again, so now Stan and Pan making the adjustments using frame advantage to force throw pressure now. Another scary aspect of E Honda's game. Okay, again, you see Big Johnny looking for that spot he needs. He still can't get the DP. The sumo smash coming a weird trajectory. So counter hit bounce for days and days. He is in burnout state. Big Johnny's got to get out of there. Ryu is in big trouble. Oh, throw it, chucking plasma. There's nobody home. Make it happen. And it still didn't happen. And it still didn't happen that time. It did stay in pan up 2 1. Main event action here at the King Returns 3. Okay, Sumo Spirit, oh, time to get the bounce. This may not be Brooklyn, this is Richmond, but you better get ready to bounce. Boom, throw number one, watch it. Uh, careful, oh, drive impact right at the spot that Hana was looking for. Got the chop, and still nobody home. Ryu quickly recovers, though. Stan Man Pan knows exactly where to be and where not to be. He is not getting drive impact the wall so quickly. Very smart using the drive parry. However, it's not your turn to press button because there's a yellow EX Sumo Smash waiting for you. The bane of all Street Fighter Five players. That move is still very dummy here in Street Fighter Six. Ooh, what an air to air. And Stan Man Pan 
feeling this may be his time. However, don't count on Big Johnny just yet. He picks his spot. He knows exactly when to sneak in that medium kick. Medium punch in the head, but it feels like Stan Penn always has something waiting in the wings to optimize whatever conversion he gets. Now it is Honda in burnout state, but that's not the right one you want to use. He's too close to the wall to use the wall. But careful. Okay, he's got the, no! That was the answer. And Stan Van Pan, unfortunately, got hit by a bad angle in all at all angles. He didn't have enough. Okay, that time he does. So he's making sure he has the spirit he needs to start all the frame advantage pressure that he wants. There you go again. It's always waiting in the wings too far away, though. You can't be whiffing hands when you have somebody with a DP. Ryu already in burnout state, though. This is not good for him right there. Right there, there's a spot. No, too far away again. That was potentially the round. And he's going right to drive impact. You don't wanna be jumping too much though. There you go and, oh no. Maybe you should've gone for the command grab. Will this be the opportunity Big Johnny was looking for? Is this what you're looking for? No, nobody home again. Nobody home and now Han is in burnout state. Things are falling apart in the worst Pablo fashion until that happened. Called out Sumo Smash. Stan Man Pan will be in Grand Finals winner's side as he advances three to one over Big Johnny. Hopefully you like my commentary for it. Look, I told John, you remember four years ago, I said Honda was stupid back then. You thought I was just being salty. Now you're seeing what I'm seeing in a different system. You, you see it now. It is time for our next match. Trey Star and Kateo, loser semis. You already know what to expect. It could be Ryu, it could be Jury. But for Kateo, you have a feeling it's gonna be Daski repping, as always. Kateo has been on a tear on the other side of the bracket. But Trey Star was able to hold things down on his end. Now we will see who truly has momentum on their side as Trey Star goes back to Ryu, puts Jury on the bench. While Kateo, it's time to show the world the power of the turquoise cyclone. As Zangief, thanks to the Soul Calibur esque face changing property of Street Fighter VI, has a stroke on stream. Here we go. Ball, no head, but for you, you got to be sure you get those punishes. Will there be a punch to face? Will there be a chop to your neck? Don't be chucking too much plasma. Are you at mid-range or will be a chop to your neck? And then you go on a ride that you do not want. Kateo marching 
marching in right now with Das Gief, SPD number one. Oh, look at this, you see Gief. All right, very smart. If you have fireball in that situation, be sure to use your drive parry. That way you can serve your Ademir. There's a punish right there. Zangief calling for it. EX SPD, or we call in Richmond the Pepto Bismol plunge. Here we go. Sweep, and so far, Kateo has done a great job. Oh, no! Flash chop, drive impact, and another SPD, Pepto Bismol plunge. All right, this is Tristeros got his work cut out for him as Kateo and Zangief. We're oh too far away. More more actively, maybe a little bit too much hit stun for the SB to connect. You have to kind of delay it a bit to start that kind of throw game. Jump in too far away. Knees get an uppercut. Perfect spot on that sweep and a big drive impact again. Buffered into the SBD. Zangief about to sing Ryu's song. I'm gonna take you for a ride. There you go. So, Wintergreen, Zangief. Uh, another and finally counter drive impact. Ryu's out one of those his own. Big punch the stomach into level three. Now it is Traystar and Ryu on the board. Back and forth we go. This is definitely worthy of a top four thus far. And you always have to watch out for the mid-range between drive impact, drive parry, drive rush. We haven't seen much the way of drive rush into throws, but at the same time, what they're doing has been working. A little bit too short on that drive impact, though. Careful. Something's coming. Some. Oh, good. Very smart. To air to air right there. Keep it still right there. Just... Keep the spacing back. Ryu does not want to be anywhere near Zangief, knowing what would happen if he is mid-range or closer. He has been chopped the neck once too many times. Oh, I like this. When you're full screen, just get that install going for you. For those who do not know, Ryu can store some electric attacks as he would in v Trick 1 Street Fighter 5 in this game. So pressing down, down, punch, and Zangief says, no, down, down on your head. Traystar still has a life lead, but it's tenuous. However, he hangs in there, fires off one more. OD Hadoken. Traystar is up 1 0. All righty. Kateo did not make that easy for Traystar whatsoever. And even though Traystar is up 1 0, Things can quickly be dropped on their head, both figuratively and literally, since it is Zangief we are talking about. And you have all seen the damage Zangief does SPD this game, and especially counter hit SPDs, because this game has counter hit throw damage like Dead or Alive. And because of that, one SPD can be all it takes to win. Oh, Geef still flexing. Thankfully, nothing worse happened. Geef missed the buffer a little bit too much. The butter was turned a little bit too tight as such. It's a big mess all over the kitchen. So now it is time for Ryu to clean up. Zangief in a burnout state. So not much mobility there. Zangief does rely very heavily on having some kind of drive, not just for EXSPD, but also for drive parry, drive rush, drive impact, the many tools he needs at mid-range to stop people from just chucking plasma at him freely. Ryu has been fully ch another air-to-air. So great stuff from Kateo, keeping things honest, making sure that Ryu does not get any free jump-ins. As a reminder, Zangief does have anti-air SPDs as well. Oh, punch to face times two. Flash chop, not gonna work because Ryu has a punch to the stomach. A counter drive impact, but the link is missed. Flash chop again, still good though. Zangief now in a really bad spot as he is running dangerously low on meter. He's going to spend it, cashing out with EXSPD. Traystar in a bad spot. No anti-air for you, but trading, crouching attacks. Kateo and Zangief hang on.
Okie dokie. So Zangief once again has a full stock of drive meter, which means whatever kind of spacing Ryu wants to do, it has to be done with caution. The only way to uh, truly keep things back to quote unquote old Street Fighter, there you go, and Tier SPD is to make sure Geef can't advance easily. But if you're getting called, oh no! I'm not sure what Geef threw out there, but it was not anything nice. And Ryu has something equally not nice waiting for Geef. Shin Shoryuken after the donkey kick. Life lead is about even now. Flash chop blocked too far from the wall. Flash chop and now Geef is stuck at the wall. Flash chop number three, third time's a charm. This is your last ride. Here we go, up you go. And a crash landing has tied it at one for Kateo and Das Gif. What a set, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any better than this, right? Let's see what happens. Next game is win or go home for both players. Ooh, I like the sneaky sweep right there. And now Kateo started to condition Traystar on jumping so that there is an air SPD waiting for him at every turn. Flash chop, and that's a perfect spot. Sweep. Baited again. Kateo knew exactly what Traystar wanted to do, but too short on the flash chop, and now there's a counter drive. In fact, the link is missed. Oh, no. Frustration building up right now as Kateo is on set point. Winner green Zangief, the turquoise cyclone, another chop. Drive impact, head to ground, chop through neck, head to ground, chop through neck. Head to ground once more, EX variant. Extra strength, Pepto-Bismol plunge. Okay, you see Trey start trying to find answers. Flash chop number three. Extra strength, maximum strength, Pepto-Bismol plunge. Let's get that call and clear, sir. Boom, come back and see me in a week because it's time for you to go home. Kiteo moves forward to losers finals in a thriller 2-1 over Trey Star. Okay, everyone, it is time for Losers Finals. This will be a first to three. Kateo and Big Johnny A. Falcon. Here we go. So, I said earlier, John's bag runs deep. 
Trey Star's Ryu isn't exactly like Big Johnny's Ryu. So, sometimes going from one person playing the same character to another one with the same character can actually be worse than them picking someone new because then you have to completely readjust their play style that you thought you adapted to with the previous character. Big Johnny is going to put on the navy blue, the Chicago Bears Ryu against the Jackson Jill Jaguars Zangief. Here on Saturday night Street Fighter football commentary. I am your host Howard Cassell aka Psycho Blue. Let's get this party started and tell it like it is. Alrighty, so I said earlier that mid-range, especially mid-range walk to the corner, that's a problem. Your best bet to stop Geef, not just being lame, it's putting Geef in a situation where he cannot churn butter easily, and he'll have to think about tick throws as well. He does not do particularly well on defense, especially with his lariat as altered as it is. SPD number one, bringing the pain. Here. Oh, big chop right there. So that's a target combo now. That's uh, three medium punches. Oh, another SPD. Punch to face. Punch to face. No punch face that time. Ryu with that sneak crouch medium kick. And there's a sweep. Wake up SPD, though. I said earlier about pressuring Geef. Sometimes Geef will just churn butter and say, give me your best shot. That's exactly what Kateo did with the turquoise cyclone. Oh no, SP no body home as such. There's a duff and still missing the donkey kick. If one driving back won't do it, give another one. Chop the neck, head to ground. Extra strength, regular strength, Pepto Bismol plunge. Oh no, oh nothing there. Tense right now. You can feel the intensity in the air. Oh no, still nothing. However, we're going with the level three jackhammer. Ba boom. The level two, I should say, ladies and gentlemen. That used to be his V trigger, and he can still go into V trigger actions from there. But if you just uh, suck him in normally, they will eat Goldberg's finisher. Kateo goes up one nothing. Again, that was a level two attack, not a level three. Careful. Yeah, so far, Kateo has a pretty high batting average with drive impact right there. Thankfully, it wasn't a counter hit. Uh, no, Ryu tried to get away, but got sucked in anyway, the light variant of the SPD. DP. Oh, no, waiting for it. Chop through neck, head to ground. Tail as old as time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're going for it. EX, Russian Bear Grab. You better make sure this finishes, and it does link into Drive Rush. Once again, Drive Rush adds extra bits of hit stun that it wouldn't have otherwise. So if you want to add some good combos and create combos with this otherwise, Drive Rush is the way to go. However, chop the neck, head to ground yet again. Here we go. Chucking some plasma. All right, Falcon is low on drive meter, so he won't have too much of resources. Meanwhile, Zanga holding steady, a little bit too short though, out of chop range. That time he got it, but Ryu blocked. And now it is Ryu throwing out drive impacts, but Geef is nowhere close to the corner. No choice but to burn that bar while your drive meter regenerates, because both characters are in burnout state. So everything's going to be a little bit more advantageous on Blanc than it would be before. Oh no, what a lucky break, and Kateo could not convert off there. It's looking tricky right now. There you go. Falcon has the meter he needs, and a sneaky crouch medium kick into drive rush. It is tied at one game apiece. Okie dokie. So we had Sneaky again. 
Big Johnny has done an excellent job converting every single time he gets a crouch medium kick, but now his drive meter is dangerously low. As a reminder, doing a drive rush from cancelable normals does way more meter than doing something from a drive parry, which means he has to be careful how much he uses the conversions from crouch medium kick. Pepto Bismol plunge, EXDP. Whatever Zangief wanted to do, it looked like he tried to delay his descent with an air SPD. EXSPD says, that's nice, my friend, that's nice. As a reminder, Air SPD was very important in sealing the last set for Kateo and Zangief. Chop. It wasn't a counter hit. As a reminder, there are two kind of counters. There's counter hit and there's punish counter. Both of them will result in that crumple stun. John kind of waiting Geef out is not the worst idea if he anticipates drive impact, but at the same time, you have to worry about drive rush into SPD. I haven't really seen much drive rush from Zangief, so that may be something Kateo was waiting to pull out the last minute. Oh, too far away! That's a big punish right there. EX SPD, bop, boom, big damage, big pain. Extra strength, Pepto, Bismol, plunge. That's bad. Oh, no! This should be the round. Boom! Level two into the jackhammer. Ooh, punch to face, punch to face. Nobody home this time. Throw. This. All right. You want to be careful again because Kateo has shown that there will be a wake up SPD waiting for the opponent. Jump in. Oh, oh good shimmy right there. Oh, but still, chop to neck, head to ground. Boom, extra strength, Pepto Bismol plunge. PBP, forget about it. Ah, and this time it is Ryu firing off drive impacts. Another one, and this time it gets the wall. Make sure this hurts. Make sure this hurts, my friend. Boom. Boom. What's wrong? Get up. All right. Geef has plenty of drive meter now. No fear whatsoever, but Kateo decides to cash out with a drive impact. Another one. John has his resources back. Oh, and a wall bounce from the driving pack. Another one. It's falling apart, except there. Kateo said there's a jump coming, only for John to say no, there is not. He is now up 2-1 with Ryu. Nothing ordinary about this show, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to worry about anybody here. This is, after all, top three. This is losers' finals here at the first Street Fighter VI monthly here in West Virginia. Uh-oh, chop to neck. And they head to ground. Ooh, the big knees. No conversion, though. Uh-oh. No chop the neck for you. Let's see if he gets the link this time. Okay, keep simple with drive impact. But Ryu is... Oh, no, now Geef is in burnout state. All... The very end of it, thankfully. Ooh, good job shimming. You don't want to be SP so quick. Ryu is in burnout state, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a problem. Anti-air chop. SP nobody home, but no punish. DP. Big Johnny. Big fundamentals. N cross. Cut. Uh, and Johnny Falcon is on set points here in Losers Finals. Winner of this will be facing Stan Man Pan. Will it be? Oh, there you go. Now we're doing some of Ryu's new moves. The Tatsu Punch, the Fireball Palm. And he can charge that and add extra stun with his charge. Or he has charge now. So both the Hadouken and the uh, Hadogeki have extra stun. However, Punish Counter. Now it's Ryu stun seeing stars being put down. Uh-oh. Counter hit drive impact. Chop the neck and Ryu suddenly... Having trouble breathing, standing up straight. Back and forth we go. Chop, nobody home. Take the hard knockdown. And now again, sneaky crouch medium kick into drive rush. Conserve your meter, my friend. As I said earlier, yeah, that takes a lot of meter compared to regular drive rushes. So that's exactly why we're used to make it hurt. Put some extra spice. Shin Shoryuken. He'll be feeling that in the morning. Okay, and the thing is, Geef in a bad spot because now he's close to the wall. If he blocks a drive impact, he's getting 
He's getting put in a bad state. He's getting wall splat like it was Tekken. Chop. No counter hit. Geef running low, but Kateo knows how to make the most out of low OD situations. DP, not enough to finish it, though. However, that will. The sneaky crouch medium kick. Big Johnny survives Kateo and the turquoise cyclone Zangief. Big, big round of applause for Kateo for getting third place. All right, everyone, I have just hyped up the live crowd, but it is now time for Grand Finals. John A. Falcon and Ryu versus Stan Man Pan with E-Honda. Stan Man Pan has to hit three before Big Johnny can catch up so that he can win this tournament, but if Big Johnny hits three first, the bracket is reset. And then it's win or go home, another first to three. A part of me is rooting heavily for Stan Man Pan to take this as he has definitely earned it. At the same time, I would love to commentate more Street Fighter VI because, man, it has been a slobber knocker here in Top 4. And I'm hoping that you guys feel the same when you watch this either here live or watching it on YouTube on NYC Furby. Oh, look at that. So this has been a big change from what we saw earlier in Winner's Finals. Big Johnny not giving Honda any chance to breathe using the, look at that, using the Hado charge to change the trajectory and speed and recovery of his fireballs. That way, there's not so much rear end waiting for him from the sky. There you go. Speaking of rear ends, this time Stan Man Pan correctly guessed first, got the counter hit. Chop right there. You want to mind your spacing there. All right, good. Johnny gets out. Just don't want to get driving pack in the corner. Anti-air headbutt. Very smart of John. Oh, what a trade right there. Not true invincibility. Boom. And there he goes just inside the wall spot range, but not much of a follow-up, though. Still not getting those headbutts. Very smart. Now it is Ryu in burnout state, and as such, he's in chip state. Once you're in burnout state, you can get chipped out, ladies and gentlemen. So don't be uh, spending resources so quick. And it's also smart of Ryu to make sure he has a charge as much as possible. That way he can blow through whatever. Uh-oh, ground bounce. Will he get a juggle? No, he won't. Miss the fob again. Sumo smash gets the anti-air. Patty cake, patty cake. What you gonna do? EX smash and an Ochio throw. Oh, D Varen extra spice on that. Oh, no, no one this time. Too far away for the other Ochio throw. Sumo smash. And now he is in burnout state again. Stan Man Pan takes the first game. He is two wins away from putting this tournament to a close, becoming our first ever Street Fighter 6 champion here in Richmond, Virginia. There we go, drive Perry. But the pressure continues. Hard knockdown. Jab confirmed a headbutt, but Ryu says, no, I got DP with your name on my friend. Very smart. Very smart of Stan Man Pan to make sure he is had the headbutt ready in case Ryu tries to get that fireball charge. Very smart. Driver in the corner. 
Honda is out, and so is Ryu. Just keep going for it. Keep going for it. Where are you blocking, my friend? Where are you blocking, my friend? There is a stern I'm waiting for you. There is a tailbone waiting for you. Boom, ba ba boom. More tailbones to the face. All right. Don't get driving. Oh, a cross up anyway. I see you. Honda uh, still catching. This time playing Peggy the other side. Big Johnny in a bad spot. You had a DP because again you're in burnout state and you're walking forward into an EX sumo smash. Now it is Stan Man Pan one game away from taking this tournament. Big Johnny is going deep into his bench. What's going to happen next? Is it Ryu? Will it be Guile? Who else could it be? And you see Honda flickering like he is on a really old TV. Because this looks very, very much old school right now. Ryu and Honda bringing it back to the days of yore. Ryu's coming back out of the locker room. He is definitely feeling a sort of way, but Honda, look at that. He has confidence in his eyes as does Stan Man Pan. He's either smiling about the win or he is laughing at my ridiculous commentary, one or the other. Ladies and gentlemen, let us see if Big Johnny has what it takes to climb out of this deficit Mena RD style. There's your DP. There's your DP. Uh-oh, we got um, Umid Johnny right now. The bird of prey unleashed. Very smart testing with those wake-up jabs. Got counter hit too. Ooh, safe jump. I see you. Watch it. Oh, no, you flinched, so you're going to get an easy combo. Ooh, and very smart. Remember, he knew there was a YOLO EX match coming, but now he's getting chased down. Watch it. Watch it. Boom. No, so thankfully there was no cross-up there. Cross-up in this game is very weird. You don't see it often in the corner. Ooh. So you saw Big Johnny had that scout knew exactly what Sam Payne wanted to do when he had a sweet waiver. He may have found his reliable punish in those situations. All right. Keep it simple. There you go, DP. Do not let Honda drop down. However, EX headbutt and a drive impact. Honda could not take everything out. Another drive impact. Drive impact and a counter drive impact. Ba boom. Do not drop this. Sumo rush into patty cake. More patty cake. Baker's man, level three. Ryu, what are those? Those sandals are straight fire. Which is why I'm going to put that out right now. Oh, and Ryu is out of drive meter. So he could get shipped out here if he's not careful. Nobody home. Oh, no. Making it fancy there. Stan Man Pan one. Round the way, he is on set point of becoming our first Richmond Street Fighter Six champion here at the King Returns Three. Boom! Oh my goodness, the juggles, sumo rush, patty cake, ex sumo rush, and that's not going to be enough. Here you go. Keep it simple right now. Sit down and more ground bouncing. Oh, drive impact that time. Not enough to juggle. Watch yourself. You saw he's getting tricky right now. Boom. Not enough to absorb the drive impact. Honda running low on drive meter. Ooh, very smart. Ryu busting. Now Ryu is in a burnout state. Chasing down with a headbutt. And Stan Man Pan is your first ever Street Fighter VI champion here at the King Returns 3. Day one-ish, my friend. Day one. All right, everyone. That concludes our broadcast for the first ever Street Fighter VI tournament here in Richmond, Virginia. You'll be seeing this top four on NYC Furby in the interim. This is Psycho Blue, conductor of the hype train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag Crosswires. I will see each and every one of you next time. Later, everyone.